If there's just one keyboard mic- Hey, ow! If there's just one keyboard- Hey, ow! Dude, I'm trying to do the intro. If there's just one- He's talking about the alt key option if you're on Mac. He's already made a video about it. Really? <laughs> really? Yes, I have done a video about it in the past, but I wanted to do a five minute Friday video so you had a really quick reference, but I guess that's ruined now, isn't it? Do you want to just do this video? There's no point in me being here, is there? <laughs> yes! So yeah, he's talking about the Alt key. So if you're struggling to learn all of the keyboard shortcuts within DaVinci Resolve, just stop and learn this one modifier key. Because in my opinion, it is the most useful single modifier key that you can learn. But before we do, I just need to thank this video sponsor, Motion VFX. Motion VFX produce some of the best in-class plugins for DaVinci Resolve. They're simple and really, really quick. And that's why I use them in pretty much all of my videos and they're continuing to add more and more every single month. So click the link down in the description below to check out Motion VFX's line of awesome DaVinci Resolve plugins. Cool. Get your index finger ready, smash it on that Alt key, and let's take a look. So, edit page, and let's start us off with a really useful one. This clip here, as you can see, it's video and audio, but it's just B-roll, so the audio is useless. If we hold the Alt key, then click and drag from the media pool, put it on our timeline, we only get the video, there's no audio, and it just saves us that extra little step. Bonus tip, it's worth knowing, if you hold the Shift key, then do the exact same thing, so media pool, click and drag, and we're only gonna bring in the audio and not the video. Now for my next one, let's say you had already added this to the timeline, so we've got video, and audio. You can select one or the other really easily by simply holding Alt and then clicking. So you can click the video independently of the audio. So if we need to move the audio, we can do. You don't need to unlink them every single time. That also means that we can just give the audio a click and then delete it as required. Now a great tip with that one, it also makes it really easy to do J and L cut. So I've got these two shots here. Let's just give a click on this audio and then we'll drag it over to the left. And now we've got ourselves a J cut sorted. Much easier than unlinking. Now you can also use the Alt key to duplicate anything on the timeline, literally anything, titles, transitions, clips, whatever it is. Simply give it a click. So let's select this video with the audio. And then we're gonna hold Alt, click and drag, and now we've got a duplicate of them. Now, of course you can do the same thing. Hold Alt, click just the audio, keep Alt held, drag. Now we've got a duplicate of just the audio. Real simple, easy, quick way of duplicating anything on your timeline. So here's another one I use all the time. I want to move this video up one track, but leave the audio where it is. So I'm gonna hold Alt and then give it a click so it's just the video selected. Then I can keep Alt held down and use the up and down arrow keys, and we can just move this up and down really quickly and easily like so. Bonus tip for you while we're here, if you hold Shift on your keyboard, then click with your mouse, I can do whatever I like with this mouse and it won't move left or right on the timeline. I can just move it up and down. It means that you can really quickly move things up and down on your timeline without messing with the timing whatsoever. Let's have a look at this waveform down here. If you look on your actual audio track, you can see there's a little line and if we click and drag that, we can actually adjust the audio of that track directly on the timeline itself. Now what you can also do is hold down the Alt key, click on this line and you can add audio keyframes. So let's just do something like that and then we can raise this level up, bring this down and you can adjust the audio on the fly really quickly by just holding Alt and clicking to add your keyframes. Now sticking with audio, you can do something else called subframe scrubbing. If you need to adjust this audio by a tiny amount, so less than a frame, simply give the audio a click. So I'm going to hold Alt, click, so just my audio is selected. Then I'm going to hold Alt once again, keeping it held use the left and right arrow keys on my keyboard, and we can just do teeny tiny little sub frame shifts of the audio, and we can do left and right. So if we need to make any minor adjustments, we can to make sure that our audio is perfectly synced. Easy. This one's a cool one. If you want to review something on your timeline really quickly, go to the start point of the bit you want to review, and we're gonna hit play, just gonna hit space, and then any point, hold Alt and hit L, and you'll go back to that original position and it'll play through again. So if you've done an edit, you just want to run through, make sure it's all good, 
Alt, L, Alt, L. Review it as many times as you like. This next one is a must know for everyone. I've made some minor changes to the transform controls for this clip. And let's say I want to copy them from here to this clip over here. Simply select the original and hit Control and C, same as you usually would copy. But on the next one, hit Alt and V. And then you'll get this paste attributes box appear. And then you can just tick all the individual things or you can pick them all as one big group of the things that you want to copy across. You can even do the same with plugins. That's your open effects plugins, color correction, anything from the color page and fusion effects. Hit apply and it'll just apply that to this clip as well. Next, ins and outs. On your timeline, put your playhead where you want. You can hit an I to do an in, an O to do an out. And this marks particular sections of your timeline. If you right click on the bar at the top, you can also do some fancy stuff with it. What you can also do with this selected, you can go onto the deliver page and then you can just render out that one particular section, which is really handy to know. So where does the Alt come in? Well, if you hold Alt and then hit I, you'll get rid of your in point, like so. Hold Alt, hit O, and you'll get rid of your out point. To get rid of them both with one quick shortcut, hold Alt, hit X, and they're both gone, like so. And last but not least, Alt and Y. Alt and Y will select everything on your timeline on any track after your playhead. So if I wanted to open this section up a little bit here, because I need to put something else, I want to create a gap, whatever it may be, hit Alt and Y, it will select everything after the playhead, and then I can just click and drag like so to make room to put some titles, effects, new clips, or whatever we want in here. Easy peasy. There you go, Alt key. Highly recommend getting used to learning and using that one. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, comments or feedback down below. Subscribe if you enjoy 5 Minute Friday, and I'll see you next time. See ya.